Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I am here in Queensland, Australia. Now I've got four, oh that's on the canvas, four 20 by 20 uh, little canvases. And I'm going to do different colours on each of them. Um, just a little idea that I've got. I've got a really long uh, picture frame, so I'm thinking that the four of these will fit into the picture frame. But anyway, it's going to be a fun little um, project. I've got it on my spinner. No, <coughs> excuse me. Not to actually be able to spin it. Um, I just want to be able to get to each canvas without having to lift them off. That's my plan anyway. So this should be, uh, yeah, nice a nice little project for me so I've got some colors here that I'm going to play with and I'm going to do um, background on each so I guess I suppose I could move to two of them off while I work on the two here so might make it easier maybe I even do two today and two another day let's see how I go so it's just to be able to turn it around Rightio, let's get this. I'm going to do a dark base and a light base. So I'm going to let's start off with this. I'm going to put, this is a very pale grey that I mixed up and it was just white with a blob of black and a little blob of blue. It sort of makes a really nice um, pale grey. So I am going to actually put that in my cup, like so. And the other one, I will go, maybe, oh no, maybe, you know what, maybe I'll stay with the grey base, because it's going to go with the colours that I have in mind, for both of them. And I will go... A black swirl in one so I don't want to add too much black and I will go just on the last dregs of this paint that I made up and it was um, a cool blue or phalo blue so keep all your spare bottles from your pouring medium or paints and just re um, use them so I'm gonna just Pour a swirl of the blue. Hopefully that's not too much in either. And then I'm going to... I think I guess I use... Oh yeah. You can wash all of these after you use them, these little sticks. I'm going to do one, two, three. Three little stirs. One, two, three. Let's hope this works. We will see, hey. Got to be in it. Got to try it, I guess. Rightio. So it's just, I, I think I'll do a spiral. Too much black, but I said a light and a dark, so I might take that. I think that's going to be enough for that so we'll just I love these on their own they're quite you know they're quite effective just doing this simple simple technique um, is very effective on its own and if I could actually get my husband to help me with a big canvas to pour over it like that I think it would really work well now I'm really stretching this one but that's going to be fine because I can just finger pop finger pop it I'm going to do something over there anyway so let's this is just my base but that's very nice as it is and now for the blue yeah might do this one a bit different maybe figure eight invigorate K 
Okay. That's a nice colour. Very nice. So these are very simple techniques for beginners to kind of give you a bit of confidence when um, you can get something to come out nice. It gives you a bit more confidence to um, keep trying to but the thing is about the fluid art is remember your art your rules your way I have to remind myself that all the time when people criticize but that's it, it it's about the enjoyment and definitely art is subjective it's whatever you want to bring to the table I think you know I might put oh, it is getting a bit wobbly hey all four canvases on and oh should I shouldn't I no I'll work with the two and concentrate on quality rather than quantity it's a bit wobbly right here so what I will do I have this it is it looks almost gray it's a very um, metallic plum so I'm going to put only in the one corner these are very nice for gifts on the small canvas like instead of even giving a birthday card it's quite nice to give a canvas I'm gonna use that corner I think for this one if there's any So yeah, very nice gift to give. I'm going to use a bit of this gold that I have here. It doesn't have to be the same colours. I'm just thinking I will stick with the very simply the black and gold on this one. And let's see how it turns out when I I'm gonna use my little bendy straw I, you get these I got these from discount store very cheap but very effective she knows and I'm doing that I don't know why I obviously dropped a blob there let's just give it a little blue it's not really doing anything no I won't okay so on to the purple purplish one now I will add some purple to this one that will be beautiful when I finished it very simply stick like I said don't give a, a Christmas or birthday card or a thank you card give them a little canvas they're easy to do they give you good practice to you know keep going on so add in a little bit of white to this one but 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 again I'll just add a bit of the black I was going to only use two colors in every one but got carried away didn't I Ooh, that's very nice too. Cute as a button. I will be working on those further, so, but for now I'm just going to pop them up there. They're definitely not finished, so stick with me because I will embellish them and they'll come out so much nicer. I think I need to treat myself to a bigger, a new, um, these are just cake uh, trays, that's whatever you call them. Rightio, now 
Should I go a very, 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 um, I might add the same base again, the pale grey. And then I am going to add the next one. I'm going to do a red. So this one I will, well, it's like an orangey, I think it has orange with yellow in it and a bit of red. So I'm going to do the same. A bit of a swirl in that one. And again, I'll clean my little stirrer stick up. Two, three, four. This will be interesting with this colour. Okay, let's give this a swirl. bit around the edge with the pale grey. I think a real red would have looked probably even nicer. But I think these would look very nice together in one lot, you know, one um, frame. I will try and get out the frame to show you guys probably when they're all dry. And just didn't have patience with me. Back down to that corner. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more there. Oh, I had a bit of the blue in. Never mind. Add to the contrast in it. Oops. To fit all of the four on there. Okay, I might do it that way. Still quite nice. Quite nice. So, you know, I'm gonna add that. Like I said, this is it's a metallic plum. This was one of the new colours I got from that um, colour solutions. It looks really dark, but it does come up plumish 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 okay add the gold to that but i think this one will need to keep with darker tones to actually make it pop so i'm going to this is the burnt umber with a good dab of uh, silver in it so it should all be quite sparkly okay now i wish i'd done that a little bit further in but anyway, anyways, let's go. Oh, that's quite nice. Beautiful. See how simplistic, but really lovely. I think so. So now for the last one. I have got paints left there and I'm going to add I'm going to add some um, brilliant red to the next swirly thing. Look at that thing that's happened with that. It's gone a bit bizarre. Okay, so I've got this leftover that had the bit odd bits of bobs in it but I'm going to actually put the red in it. Use my stirrer stick. Just take it nice and easy. It's all about the process, <laughs> the journey, not the destination. That's it. Okay. Try the red one. Yeah, this one goes 
I do like the red. That's very nice. Just looks like marble. And cut stone. Has got a little bit of the, the black, the grey in it and the, from the other colours. But that's quite nice. I'll work back in this corner because I'm loving that. It's really quite nice to do the different colours in it. It's actually really lovely. It's a very enjoyable little project here, so just make sure you have a go with it. It's quite nice. Right again, I'll start with my same base. But it seems to be working quite nicely. Um, red, so I'll go back to the gold. Just thinking I'll put a squirt of red in it maybe. Let's see what the red... There you go. And I'll go back to the black centre. Give this one a blow out. Kind of, <coughs> oh dear, kind of, if you were sort of wondering what to do on a large canvas and you wanted to test your colours, this is a very easy way and the, these little canvases are not too expensive to give your colours a good try out. But I like all of that now. That is beautiful. So of course, of course, of course, I have to jillify it. So just to make these centers really pop, to come out with the petals, push your ballooning. If your consistency of your paint is correct, they, the paint shouldn't fall in. If it does fall in, walk away from your canvas, go and make a cuppa and leave it for, you know, 20 minutes to dry off, even longer if you've got lots of paint on there, then come back and do this same process. You can press quite firm with the balloon, wipe the paint off and then again, like I said, it will work very well if your paint consistency is the correct consistency. So let's give this. I'm loving this orange one with those colours. That is gorgeous. Doesn't really need much else. There's lots of people keep telling me less is best. <laughs> so, but it, 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 it's individuality, remember? And it's your art, your rules. I'm absolutely loving those. What do you guys think? Will you have a go at this little project? You can leave it exactly as is, of course, you know, or you can add any further embellishment. I just want to get rid of that blob there. Didn't like that. You can add, um, if you've got a little skewer, which I can't find at the moment. Nothing ever is there when you're looking for it, hey? So with a little skewer, you could do a few little traces out of, you know, to soften it up, make make it look 3D, more like it's floating. Don't have to go overboard. Whatever floats your boat. So there we go. Oh my goodness, I really do hope these dry beautifully because I've got a few people I can 
uh, coming up for birthdays I will just add a little canvas how cute are those lovely cutie patooties I wait till the end till I show you the dry pieces but I will just sort of finish off the edges on these and I am super duper happy with them I love how they've come out now I really want to do a big one in the red background a big one in the orange I have already done the black and purple on other videos but loving those loving okay my lovelies please take care remember if you're sad lonely or depressed please ring a family member or a friend if you haven't got one there is definitely everyone has the ability to pick up the phone and ring a helpline so do not suffer in silence okay paint on people bye for now